Harpal Sambi is the Chief Executive Officer of Careerify, a social networking site that matches employers with employees based in Toronto. He is also the author of Social HR, published by Carswell. He spoke with us about how HR can use social media effectively. What types of social media should HR be embracing? We look at society today, uh, it's often categorizing social media as one of four applications, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. However, what social HR is trying to emphasize is to give a broader landscape of what social media is. So there's tens of thousands of applications out there. Uh, anything, and the way that we define social media and social HR is it could be a blog, it could be a community forum, it could be a wiki, it could also be as extreme as a virtual world where you create avatars and you communicate with your end user. At the end of the day, it really depends on the organization that's utilizing these tools and more importantly, how they're trying to reach out to these end users, whether it might be you know, alumni to, to candidates to even current employees. Why is social media an important component for HR? Well, let me first introduce a little bit uh, one of our partnering companies that worked with us uh, with social HR. Uh, Comscore is a, a leading internet uh, monitoring company uh, and we did a survey or we engaged a study with them uh, and from February 1st 2010 to February 28th 2010 so the whole month of February we found out that 1.2 billion people access the internet across the world uniquely. Of the 1.2 billion people 464 million access Facebook alone, which is close to 40% of the world's population online are accessing this. If you combine your other tools such as LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, uh, tools such as Yammer for instance and all the other social media applications out there, it is the second most utilized activity online next to search. So even despite its youthfulness as social media in whole, it's less than eight years old, we have found that social media is in fact not a fad. It is something that organizations should utilize because it, it, it is the newest way and the most common way online to communicate. And it's a communication source at the end of the day. So yes, we had, you know, we can talk via person, we can talk via phone, we have email, now it's social media. And that's the next evolution in today's world. So the reason why so HR has to be on top of social media is the end users, your, your applicants, your employees, your alumni are now communicating through these mediums more and more frequently on a daily basis. And in order to com communicate with them and to provide your strategic, you know, your output, um, at the end of the day, you have to go into a medium and a communication tool that they're most familiar with. And how can HR go about implementing a social media strategy? An HR department or an organization should realize that they are unique, regardless, irrespective of their competitors. Uh, so if a competitor of theirs or someone that's leading in social media strategy uh, is doing a great job, you cannot mirror their strategy because you just don't know what their end goal is. How do you know what your end user is? Well, you kind of know that based on who you're trying to target, whether it's your employees, you go to your employees and say, what are you using online uh, on a common basis? If it's your candidates, you, you, you ask your candidates. If you're alumni, you ask your alumni. And from there, you will kind of see which type of social networks and social media tools, whether they're blogs or professional networks, you, you have to use. So once you understand the end user, you have to now try to engage them. Engaging is a very difficult task, much like in real world, uh, that you can have to do online. Um, so you can utilize two different engagement methods, whether they're intrinsic benefits such as, a, um, such as uh, learning opportunities or providing uh, uh, a, uh, you know, a benefit for a cause, uh, such as supporting a community or a, a charity to extrinsic benefits such as compensating employees for joining and participating in these social media networks.